Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 27 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a baker here ordering flowers for seven batches of donuts. Okay, so each sack, all right, he uses 15 sacks of flour for each batch. All right, so let's, let's draw a little bit before we keep reading. All right, so the baker is ordering flour for seven batches. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw these, I'll just draw squares. And uh, these squares will just represent our batches. All right, so I'm going to do three in this second row to kind of represent. There we go. There's my seven batches. Now, what do I know about these seven batches of donuts or the flour that I need, right, for the seven batches of donuts? The baker uses 15 sacks of flour for each batch. Okay, so 15 sacks for each batch. I just drew the seven batches. So I'm just going to write 15 in each of these. All right. So we can do this here. So I wonder how many sacks of flour I have, right? Let me see. I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can do 15 plus 15 seven times, or I can just do multiplication, right? Let's just do 15 times seven. So that's 35. Carry the three. Seven times one is seven. Add the three, 10. All right, so I need 105 sacks of flour, right? Now, the flour comes in crates with four sacks in each crate. Wow, little crates. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to take my 105 sacks of flour and I need to put them into crates of four. Okay, so I need to find little crates of four in each of these, right? But I don't know how many can do. And honestly, if it's 15, right, it's going to be three and then almost one, right? If I wanted to do it... Uh, Proportionally, I could have done it like this, right? If I could do 15, right, I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? I could make this, if you look here, right? I've got 5 across, 3 down, I made an array, so that's 15. So I can do that 7 times if I wanted to actually represent what I'm doing. Now, eventually it is going to be a little bit easier just to go ahead and do your division. We can at least draw this picture here. So I've got four, right? And let's do five. Let's put my last two over here. So if I wanted to, I could just literally count how many fours can I get out of here, All right? So I could do, you know, one, two, three, four. That would be one crate of four and then one two three four two crates of four one two three four three crates of four and then you notice that this fourth crate i can only get three out of this one so i would need to pick up one then i can go all the way down keep just drawing less of four but that's going to take a while let's take my 105 let's do what we're doing we're just going to divide them into equal groups of four okay so 4 is going to go into 10 twice. It's going to be 8. Oh, it doesn't go in evenly, right? So if I have 6, that's going to leave me 1 left over. So 26 crates, 26 times 4, that's only going to get me 104. I need 105. So I'm going to need that extra crate. So my answer here is actually going to be D27.